Okay, hi Aries. So we are doing a reading for Cardinal Fire. Aries, March 21st to April 19. Aries is Cardinal Fire. Okay. All right, Aries. Aries, what's the issue? What's the issue? Ooh. Um, so something is out of alignment. <laughs> This is uh, Saturn in Libra. So you could be restricting your heart um, from opening up. There could be a third party situation. We're gonna have to clarify, okay? I'm gonna clarify using the Witch's Tarot. For some reason, I don't think that is what it, I think there's an alternate meaning to this to be clarified by the next card. Can we clarify Saturn in Libra? Why is this here for Aries? Why is this here for Aries? Okay, uh, too much, too many, too many. Why is Saturn in Libra here for Aries? Okay, oh <laughs> Aries. So it has to do with an earth sign. Um, <clears throat> we need one more card. So the earth sign could be in a third party situation. Okay. I don't feel like you know about this. Sorry, Aries. Good grief. Or the earth sign could be... All right. What is this from Aries' perspective, please? What is Saturn and Libra from Aries' perspective? Yeah, it's an earth sign. Ace of stones is ace of pentacles. I feel like um, you may be restricting your heart or the earth sign may be restricting their heart from a restart. Um, yeah, so there is um, <clears throat> the card of transformation, okay, the journey. And there is... Um, the sun, the card of Leo. Um, and notice how something about the heart chakra there. I think Aries either, this is not about a third party situation, I don't think. I think it's about either you or the earth sign restricting your heart. And Aries, I think it's you because of that sun there. What is the challenge for Aries? What's the challenge, please? What's the challenge? Aries, I feel like that's it. Um, okay, you could be dealing with a Pisces. The challenge may be um, the discovery of something, something coming out into the light. The challenge is accessing this information. Um, or, hang on, yeah, no. The challenge is getting something moving because that's coming out with the chariot. Um, and it is, yeah, it's the earth sign who's restricting their heart. Sorry about this, okay? So the earth sign um, could be still involved with somebody else or involved with somebody else. It looks like they're making a decision. Actually, the decision has been made. You just don't know what it is yet. The challenge is getting this moving, okay? Um, Aries, uh, let's see what is crowning your reading. Wow, I'll tell you what's crowning your reading um, is soulmate, okay? And going from the two of wands, just look at this, to the three of wands, so that would be get, getting things moving, you know, into the two of cups. So uh, this is what's possible, okay? Um, I feel like this, what you're doing is you're waiting on the um, other person. This could be an earth sign or a Leo or a Cancer or a Scorpio, I think. Okay? Um, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Cancer, or Scorpio. 
All right, let's find out what is in the subconscious of the person that you're dealing with. They're worried about something. Um, they're losing sleep, okay? They're losing sleep, but I do think they have a lot of emotion for you. <laughs> Look at this. And they've made a decision about you. Okay, they could be juggling. This is either juggling or making a decision. All right. Um, I think that their, their challenge is moving on from this other person. I feel like this is positive for Aries. Yeah, because they're restricting their heart too. Look at this. Amazing. You guys are kind of mirroring, mirroring each other. Um, okay, let's find out what's in the recent past. What has happened in the recent past um, between Aries and their person? What's happened in the recent past? Or for Aries, okay, because this is focused on you. Okay, sorry. What's happened in the recent past, please? Okay, that has. Yeah, okay, so some communication came in, <laughs> possibly from an earth sign. Okay, um, I feel like, um, or there was just some movement in the recent past. It looks looks very hopeful. Um, I'm going to find out what's coming up in the near, oops, sorry guys, in the very near future. It's coming up in the, I, I feel like this is coming up. So, um, this could be them expressing emotion to you, but I'm seeing it as something, um, look at this. There's going to be communication of something working out really well in a fair way. Um, I believe this is for you and your person. I'll just clarify, okay? So this is really nice. Okay. You could be sort of dreaming about it right now. Can we clarify? I feel like these two cards were left here for a reason. Yep, look at this. Um, this is something I believe that you are manifesting. It's almost like um, it's moving on up, okay? Um, remember the Eight of Cups moves to the Nine of Cups. We'll get another card in a moment. I believe that um, right now this is sort of in the astral. You're kind of dreaming about it. But look at this, what's coming up in the near future. It's kind of like a gift from God type thing. Let's get something from Star Tarot to clarify the future. Okay, and then we're going to just um, end the reading here. Okay, can we get something from Star Tarot, please, to clarify this future Ace of Pentacles? What is this? What is this? Okay, well, that is obviously it. Wow, nice. So this is an incoming message that is going to inspire you. This is the Page of Wands, okay? It could be Sagittarius. I'm giggling because I know a lot of Aries who are involved with Sagittarius. But um, in terms of this communication that is just and right for you and fair for you, okay? I mean, we've got the Prince of Wands bringing in um, some, some kind of a decision that is very much in your favor, okay? Um, the Eight of Wands is always good incoming victorious information, okay? And this is a message that's going to inspire you. That's really nice, Aries. Awesome. Let me know if it resonated.